new summer festo or welcome if you're new um, I'm Jess and this is my channel all about sewing dressmaking and all things stitch related now you may have noticed the YouTube's had a little bit of a makeover which is quite exciting um so I've just had a go with like some different colors and some you know some different entry stuff because I thought it would be fun um so this week you join me for my April week in sewing and I've got some great stuff planned for this week the dress behind me needs to be finished by Monday because it's for our anniversary well it's generally I want it as well but it is for our anniversary um and I've got a few other bits and pieces to work on I've got to finish my secret project to be revealed uh, for my collaboration with me and Tamlin I've got a pattern test starting this week I've got lots of lovely fabric arriving and I'm gonna have a crack at starting another one of my make nines so there's probably lots of other stuff that will come up as well but that's sort of where we are um, it is now Monday morning, I need to go to work, I've got my tea, but I'll quickly show you my outfit. Uh, it is, if I take off my cardigan, all me made, which is very exciting. So this is my VM blouse that I made in chiffon from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn, and the pattern is size me sewing, so along the link below. And this is my A-line cord mini skirt with uh, exposed zip that I made for my birthday this year, which is made in jumbo cord from Felicity Fabrics. Um, and the pattern is originally a Great British Sewing Bee one that I've then hacked to actually fit me and basically just made a skirt. Um, but yeah, I love this outfit. I want to look a little bit more professional today because I've got some meetings. But then after work, I need to do some blogging. I also have to edit a zip tutorial and um, I'm an idiot because I filmed loads of the tutorial and I realised my hands are in the way. So I'm going through the footage at the moment to see what I can salvage. Um, so that's another job for this week and there'll be some other zip things and hopefully lots of other exciting stuff to tell you guys about. So I must now go to work because it's just before nine o'clock and I will see you guys after work. Sorry, my voice is really croaky today. Um, I've had a good work day, uh, really intense, really busy. Um, so Adam and I went for a nice walk at five o'clock, which was lovely just to clear the cobwebs, get some fresh air. There was snow this morning. It is now beautifully sunny, as I'm sure you can tell by my like white out window and stuff. Um, and then you've just seen me write my new blog for so much more, uh, which is a new fabric shop run by a um, kind of Instagram friend of mine, Jess. Um, and she's wonderful and she started no idea she was starting this and then suddenly you know secret came out last I think it was March she started it's not long at all but I was so impressed by my first order so I have written a fabric Friday blog although it's not Friday um but you know the alliteration's too good and I don't care so <laughs> I'd rather get the blog post out so people can read it and you know hopefully order from her so that is now live which is exciting now I need to kind of order of today it's half past six I need to go and do some exercise and actually work out because it's really important when you've been sat down all day working from home and also when your hobby involves sitting down a lot sorry sewing <laughs> so I'm gonna go do some workout um wash my hair have tea and then I'll be back with you guys later on to do some sewing finally good morning everyone it's Tuesday so I didn't do any sewing last night because I just felt a bit weird um, and just a bit tired so instead I had dinner with Adam and then called home quickly and had an early night which I very much needed now it is seven o'clock in the morning I've had to get up because I have got some really cool filming going on. Um, I'm an event manager in my day life and um, in the venue right now I have Brian Cox filming which is really exciting. Um, but I'm obviously not allowed to go in. However, my colleagues are there but I'm online basically because I'm the one with all the information. I've sent it all through but if they need anything I'm here. So, what shall I do while I'm online but not technically starting work yet? Sewing obviously so I've decided this morning I'm going to crack on with my secret project because I can't tell you guys very much about it anyway but I thought you know I could show you some time lapses of what I'm doing um and yeah I'm very excited to actually reveal that garment so we'll do that and also I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me tidying the sewing room because it's so messy 
So <laughs> we'll do that this morning and then it will be time for work. You know how I was telling you guys that my Invisible Zip tutorial I tried to film, like, I just, I just filmed it really badly. I wasn't feeling well the day I did it. Um, and I was panicking a bit because I've looked through the footage and basically none of it's usable because while I'm explaining it fine, like, the vocal side of it's fine, my hands are just in the way the whole time. So I've been trying to think what to do about it. And then I suddenly realised, I can't show you guys, but it's in my lap, the garment I am making for mine and Tamlin's uh, collaboration has an invisible zip in it. And because that video will, zip video will come out after our collaboration reveal, I can use it. So, um, I am going to watch all of my old footage now, go through it, see which bits like I really need to be able to see and think, think about how I'm going to use my camera, and then I think tomorrow or tonight depending on the lighting um I'm gonna have a crack at filming that really so that's really exciting little sneak peek of what I'm working on um I also now need to iron this so we're gonna do a bit of sneaky ironing um but we're nearly there actually I'm really happy with it so far <laughs> Work is finished. Um, I, you, I didn't show you my outfit today. I wore my Tammy Handmade Anita camisole today in my rust or brushed satin maybe? I think it is from the rag shop. I've linked the sew along below and the fabric because I think it's in stock at the moment below as well. So tonight I'm going to hem this dress at some point. It's going to happen, I promise. Um, and also I'm making a nice tea for Adam and because he, he made delicious tea last night um, and we're gonna make brownies together as a nice kind of date activity because um, last year or the year before we found an egg free brownie recipe and I'm very allergic to eggs and it was a bit of a revelation actually it's because a lot of egg free brownies use like bananas and things which is disgusting um, and I have a severe nut allergy so most vegan recipes just don't work for me um, so we have a wonderful egg free brownie recipe and we're gonna make that tonight as a nice sort of I think we both need it really works a bit stressful at the moment so gonna have a lovely evening go sort a few bits out and then later on i will join you for some hemming that is blocked out it's so sunny in here in the evening so anyway cooking browning making back for hemming a little bit later on <laughs> everyone so again no sewing last night for kids out everything just took longer than I thought it would but we're here now um it's Wednesday morning I am solid in meetings from nine till like two o'clock which is crazy um so I would like to get a little bit of sewing done this morning before I start work so I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea and grab some food I need to be fueled up for days like today and then I am going to hem my dress. It's a circle skirt, which means the hem's going to be slightly annoying. But we'll get it done. Take it off the list this morning. And depending on the noise, it's not too too early. Um, I'm going to overlock the armholes, which is a bit tricksy, but I think we'll be okay. And um, yeah, it's it's going to be good. Also, our dining table arrives today, so we'll actually be able to sit and eat somewhere, which is just going to be fab. So lots going on today. Um, let's as you can hear, desperately need a cup of tea. So I was going to hem this morning, 
Um, but then I remembered I, I a bit of a confession. I'm terrible at, well, I'm terrible at hems anyway, you guys know that. But I'm really, really bad at circle hems because I know there's an actual technique to doing them and I just haven't bothered to learn it. However, this dress I adore so much and I'll be really, really sad if I get the hem wrong. And also it's a block light color, so you'll really see if it's wrong because the first time I made this, the hem's terrible, but you can't tell because it's a really stiff cotton and it's just, yeah, it's, it's hideous inside. Um, so, Instead, what I've been doing is I've watched loads of YouTube videos. I'm with my big sewing Bible. I'm looking through a couple of my other sewing books. So I'm gonna hem it now after work, but um, I think I actually know how to do it now. So there's gonna be some basting, and I think I'm gonna have to shrink the outer circumference with my iron, which is a little bit um, going to be interesting. So I don't know if my iron's really good enough to do that. And also if linen viscose will shrink. I would assume it would. Um, but it might need to be persuaded into shrinking. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so no sewing this morning. However, lots of sewing learning, which is really good. Good morning, everyone. So um, I didn't end up doing any sewing yesterday and I frankly didn't really do anything yesterday. There wasn't work. It's building furniture chairs you can see in the background we have a dining table and our tv stand is currently blotted out by the sun but if i stand in front of it there it is our tv is tiny at the moment but we're getting um, one of um, adam's tv from home like in his room at home which is much bigger so his parents are going to bring that at some point when it's safe and they're allowed to come see us so yeah yesterday i spent eight hours in meetings i was meant to have six hours of meetings um, and then lots of impromptu things came up with clients, which is really good because it shows people are getting back into booking events, which is fab. But on the other hand, it kind of meant I finished my day and then Adam and I spent four hours building furniture pretty much. And um, had dinner at like 10 o'clock last night. It, was, it was, took so much longer than we thought. But I'm so glad it's done. Anyway, today is my last day of work before annual leave. Um, and then I'm off. So you will get some properly good content Friday to Sunday, I promise. <laughs> But today, I really, I've said it before, I really want to get my hem done. So I'm teaching tonight after work, um, but I'm hoping, I'm going to start work very shortly, quite early, and I'm hoping I can finish slightly earlier, like move my hours around, which would be good. Um, and then, yeah, so the plan is, I've had my testing file through for a new pattern for Size Me Sewing, so that'll get done tomorrow. I think I've got some nice fabric for that as well. Um, and then I will finish off my dress. I'm going to tomorrow film my, um, what's it called? I'm gonna film my zip tutorial, or at least for my invisible zip. That's gonna come out in like a month's time, I think. But, um, I, you know, I'm just trying to remember every time I do a zip to film it, like, you know, cause it's easier. So I've got that to do. Um, and then, I'll, yeah, as I mentioned, I want to do a palette cleanser project. So I'm having a little look through my patterns. I might do one of the free patterns from Love Sewing. Also, slight nightmare. I think I forgot to change my address on Love Sewing, so I think my magazine's gone to the old house. Um, so we're going to Egham next week for Adam to go to the dentist, because I have to go with him, because um, he'll be a bit dizzy and stuff afterwards. Um, so I'm gonna ask the estate agents if we can pop in, because I've also got a very important NHS letter I need to get, um, which I think has gone to the last house as well. I did do a postal redirect, it just, hasn't happened for some reason um so yeah that's sorry long way of saying i think i'm an idiot and i've uh, done the wrong thing with my magazine but i'm gonna call them today just in case it's not been sent yet and go ah oh, please change my address <laughs> but yeah very exciting um i also got confirmation on something very exciting happening next week so uh keep your eyes peeled on wednesday at 5 p.m on my instagram to see something very exciting um and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day it's absolutely glorious outside um so i'm gonna try and go outside for a walk at some point as well but finishing my pink dress priority number one today work day is finished officially on annual leave yay um and i've just finished teaching my yoga class which is great so i need to shower uh tea's getting ready in 20 minutes it's nice and early it's only like half seven um so lots of sewing tonight i'm gonna hem my dress i'm gonna finish the armholes i'm just gonna, i'm gonna finish it really done and then I'm going to pick a palette cleanser pattern. So what I'm gonna do uh, tomorrow, Adam is working and I'm not. 
So what I'm going to do is do some pattern cutting in the living room. So I'm going to cut out my, I'm actually, I'm really feeling my LED wrap dress at the moment. So I'm going to cut that out tomorrow. And I'm also going to assemble the pattern test that I need to do for size me sewing tomorrow. Um, that looks like it won't take too long to be honest. So I'm going to try and do that this weekend. I think I just need to have a wee look through my stash tomorrow and see what I could make it out of. Um, so that'll be quite fun. Um, and there's another thing, uh, there's another pattern I want to have a little look at because I've suddenly realised just now I may have some nice fabric for it. But I'll update you all in the morning on those things. But for now, shower, change, tea, and then let's actually do some very triumphant sewing. There may even be a glass of wine, let's see. So lovely people, you join me with wet hair and the notions box open because I need to finish the armholes of this lovely dress because I'm going to do that so that the curved hem is the last thing I do because um, I think I'll feel calmer doing that. Now, the first time I ever made this dress, I made two big mistakes on the armhole. One was I used bias binding that was far too thick. So to rectify that, as it is also pink, I'm going to use my lovely, I don't know if you can see it, there we go, my lovely made to measure uh, thin bias binding for the Specky Seamstress. Now, um, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a lot thinner than usual. So that is going to be ideal because last time it was just too thick so it made it really bulky and I ended up like having to tuck it under and all sorts of stuff because it's not a bound edge in this sort of traditional sense. It's, um, I can't remember what you call it, but it's the kind where it's like a, a hidden, like a bi um, bias facing, I think. So basically that, so it's like a facing underneath. Um, secondly, when I sewed it the first time, I stretched the arms hold, arm holes massively. Um, and it really just doesn't work now when I try and wear it. So, um, like, it, it's fine, but the shoulders sort of slip a bit. So I'm going to be really careful, sew it really slowly. And hopefully we're going to end up with a really, really beautiful, beautiful garment. I honestly just, it's so, it's so floaty and beautiful. And I'm so excited to wear it. So I need to make myself go slow. And not let the excitement make me make mistakes because honestly if I make mistakes at this point I might just cry because I love this dress so much I tried it on over the weekend and I got like weepy so I'm going to pick something good to watch pop you on a little time lapse and we'll do some bias binding Good morning everyone, it is, oh god, oh yes, Friday, there we go, <laughs> it's Friday and I'm officially on annual leave so I join you from bed um, because I'm reading this morning. Um, I've also just had a little session of um, watching vlogs while I'm in bed of some of my favourite um, YouTube sewists, so I just watched Tamlin's new weekly, her, her new style of like weekly catch up video which I love, so that's so another time. Um, I also watched um, Elle and the Stitches most recent video about her most recent makes um, and I watched um, a couple from Notes from the Sewing Room as well um, I've linked them below actually because it's nice I think to give other vloggers a shout out as well and I enjoy different people's content for like different reasons and different times so it's kind of really fun but yeah it's it's sometimes nice as well when you're really busy and maybe you don't have time to sew or like me this week I've done a lot of technical sewing reading because uh, I was really nervous about doing that curved hem last night um, and so sometimes it's nice, I don't know, just to see other people's 
makes and know that there's other people out there either making mistakes or making amazing things or you know it just humanizes the whole concept and craft of sewing so today <coughs> today i need to do well i need to i want to do some batch cutting because i never do it i never have time uh, but today is ideal because i have the living room to cut in while adam's working in the office so I'm going to assemble and cut out my pattern test, which is a skirt for size me sewing. I'm also going to cut out my LED wrap dress because I've decided I just want to make it. I'm really, really excited, so I'll show you the fabric I'm using a little bit later on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a sew along for it. I might do like a sew along blog instead. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't decide really because it's not an especially difficult pattern, so I don't think it would make like a really interesting sew along. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'll batch cut it. I'll probably start sewing it over the weekend and then if there's anything that pops up from starting it over the weekend, you know, then I will then I'll do a sew along. But we'll see. We'll see. The other thing I want to do is find a fun little project that I can sort of go for. Um and ideally something I can sort of fit into uh Sewist in the Cities Great British Sewing Be Like Sew Along Challenge because it, it looks fun and also I really I'd really quite like a buffet dress uh, I know everyone's talking about this now um yesterday I suddenly realized that if you could put sleeves on the Tammy handmade Rhea dress that would be like the ultimate buffet dress like it would be incredible so a little bit of me wants to do that but also I think I've got a few patterns that would work that would be quite fun so I'm going to do that as well it's going to be a fun Friday I've got to go to the post office later on which is like an ultimate excursion for me as somebody who is even though Boris is pause shielding you know still being sensible because even though people pause shielding it doesn't mean you stop being vulnerable which is something to bear in mind if you have vulnerable pals just because he's you know stopped shielding doesn't mean we all feel better going outside <laughs> so I'm going to pop to the post office I've got a few bits to do and I'm going to get some photos of my pink dress as well so I finished my pink dress last night I have bound the armholes, again they're a tiny tiny bit stretched but I honestly think that's just the pattern now because like I was so careful doing them uh, but I'm really happy with that. The hem is amazing so the way I did the hem was by pinning it vertically so rather than like along a line and um, putting the pins down vertically and leaving a little bit of ease in the top and then just shrinking it with the iron and like pressing it sort of at right angles to the garment which seems to have really, really worked. Um, really big fan of that. I might actually do a tutorial on that at some point because it was, I'm so impressed by how like quick and easy that was. Um, oh, not quick. Comparatively quick. Hemming is always a pain. <laughs> so I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to get some photos of that dress today. It looks like it might chuck it down, but also there's some sunshine in the distance. So whether or not those are inside or outside, we will, we will see but um, I'm very excited. It makes me feel a bit like Sleeping Beauty when I wear it because it's just that sort of pink princess line. Anyway, I've been wittering on. Um, I'm going to drink the rest of my tea and finish the bit of my book and then get up and we will get going with some sewing, really. So I took a load of photos this morning of my new pink dress which I love um so I've put them before um and yeah it's it's really really just so soft and wonderful to wear then I had to run to the post office so did that got a few birthday cards and bits uh so I have now ordered some fabric from the rag shop which I'm going to show you what I've ordered and why so I'll flip you around so here we are so this remnant is just beautiful um, and I'm going to make a sheared summer dress out of it because I really fancy a sheared summer dress actually. I just, I can see it, especially as summer's so hot now, I can see it getting like a lot of use. Then, obviously boring, need this anyway. And I have finally, finally bought fabric for my dad's shirt. So two and a half meters I need. Um, and I'm making the Fairfield button up which I've linked the pattern below. Um, but yeah, now I'm on annual leave. What I'm going to do is hopefully this will arrive by Monday. Steph's normally pretty speedy. And then next week I can actually just get his shirt made. I can dedicate at least a day, um, if not a couple of days, 
to just making it, making it really good. I've got enough floor space now to lay it out. Last time I really messed it up. So I'm going to be incredibly careful this time and take a very long time cutting it out. But I'm really excited. I'm going to film a sew along for that because I think it's important to talk about sewing men's clothing because lots of us do it. Um, and also, yeah, it's going to be quite a challenge for me. The plan for me now is to pop the kettle on and then I'm going to bring my LED fabric in here. I'm going to quickly tidy up and hoover before I put it down because it's beautiful. Um, and then we can get cutting out my LED together. <laughs> It is Saturday. Yesterday I managed to get my collots cut out, which I'm really happy with. And then it got a bit dark, so I didn't want to do my LED because yeah, I really want to make sure I do it right. Uh, but I did take the time to catch up with some family people on the phone because my grandpa, uh, it's his birthday next week, but he's having his knee operation the week afterwards, so I thought I'd call and see how, how he is, you know. Um, and also, you know, caught up with the fam because there's quite a few birthdays coming up for people, so, you know, bit of life admin, really. But it is now Saturday, so last night we had a lovely date night because we just, just out of nowhere, suddenly went, you know what, let's, let's just get pizza and have a bottle of wine and just relax. We were just really lovely, desperately needed it. I've now had about 10 hours sleep, which is also excellent. <laughs> so I am going to, I think, either print my pattern test and assemble it now or cut out my LED, but first of all, I'm gonna have some breakfast because that's, um, you know, key, really. <laughs> so I'll have a seat and like, see what I feel like doing, to be honest, because I want to cut out my LED at some point. Um, but I, I know I have kind of a deadline for the pattern test, so like they'll both get done. It's just a question of what gets done first. Also, I think I am just going to pop together a fair bit. So I have cut out my collots, and the other thing is that they're a quick make. So I might just make them today. That's the other option. My LED is cut out. Um, Adam is on a call with the kind of his boys call with his uh, uncles and um, cousins and things. Um, and so I've had a night to myself, which has been lovely. So um, I've, yeah, I've been a little bit behind on everything sort of time wise today because I woke up really late. But my LED is now cut out, it is there on the floor. So tomorrow I will actually be able to do some proper sewing, like actually get the machine out and do some sewing, which will be lovely. I've also realized I need to finish my friend's birthday present, which is 99% there. There's just one armhole I've forgotten to do for some reason. So we'll do that tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, there hasn't been that much sewing this week. I keep saying this, I think it's because um, throughout the pandemic, like work is now just starting to get busier and busier each month for me. So. You know, um, I hope this is still like enjoyable for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, it's it's been actually quite a good week. Um, I'm about to go on to annual leave as well. So hopefully I'll be able to record some fun so along stuff for you guys next week. Good morning, it is Sunday, last day of the vlog. Ooh, and today we're gonna do some actual sewing. So I realized that yesterday, I didn't even get near my machine yesterday, even though I did cut out a project, which is good. I'm actually making an actual list today. So, number one, 
let's get at least a good part of my culottes made. Let's just get it done. I don't think I have the waist elastic, but I can at least get the pockets and trousers and pleats together. And then I can buy some elastic and a bit later sorted. Two, I'm going to print my pattern test and assemble it because if I don't, I'll just forget. So it's on my list to do that. And three, have a crack at some of my LED wrap dress. I'm gonna be nice and careful with that, but yeah, I really, really, really want to do it. And I'll have to change thread for that anyway. So, you know, that's that's my third sort of stretch task, as it were, is um, now it's cut out, have a go at it. However, task four, I should probably swap those around actually, is I need to film an invisible zip tutorial. Because as you guys know, I did my last one and my hands were just in the way for all of it, like insanely in the way, actually, like impressively. So I thought I would just refilm it. It's also a much shorter zip, so hopefully it would be quicker to film anyway. So we're gonna do that this afternoon. Also, it's a stunning day. So Adam and I were hoping to go for a walk um, pre our anniversary, or maybe we'll do it tomorrow on our anniversary, we can't decide. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day, so I'd like to get out in it if I can. You can also hear my throat going. So I'm going to put something on the TV, maybe a film or something and get sewing. Oh, and quickly before I start, I'm gonna finish my friend's birthday present top, which is, by the way, basically, it's the shell top from Ashen with Fabric from the Sewing Bee book, which I think is series two, um, that's basically come back now in series eight or seven, whichever series we're on now, um, which is very exciting. So if you guys have that book, which I know a lot of you do, um, and you want to have a crack at making something to like sew along with the series, the shell top is there. stupid so um basically when I was doing this a while ago I got a bit carried away and I French seamed the back together as you can see here which is is rather lovely however I forgot that you're not meant to do the back up until you bagged it out and as you can see I have not bagged it out and I now can't because I've sewn the back together rather beautifully but it's it's sewn together. So I'm going to have to unpick my beautifully French seamed back, bag it out and do it all over again which is which is something um, which is a little bit frustrating but it is it is what it is. I don't have to French seam the back I just chose to because it looked neater and crep phrase like an absolute so and so so it's all fine a little bit frustrating but I've got a film on so I'm just gonna get the old unpicker out which I've not had to use in a while so I should have seen something massive was gonna come up um and I will very carefully unpick my beautifully French seamed back bag this out and then redo it so that's fine that's okay I'm just gonna have to remember when I do it that I've already cut off the excess for the French seam <laughs> yep I knew there was something. It's, it has been a while since I've done something this stupid. So, you know, it, at, least it's, at least it's on a top. It's not like on a full length dress or something where I'm gonna have to, you know. The unpicking won't take too long, but I better get on with it now. But yeah, I thought, you know, I should share my idiocy with you guys as well. There is, what's worse is I've done a sew along for this top. This will be the third one I've made. So I think I just got a bit excited when I was making it and forgot, but you really can't bag it out until until that point. I'm gonna have a look and just check if there's any other way I can do it, but otherwise we're gonna be unpicking for quite a while. So, unfortunately I had to take a lot more of this apart than I thought I did, so now I have much less top, but it is at least fully bagged out. However, now I'm gonna to have to do some little snippy bits and everything, and it's been a little bit frustrating because it's a little overlocked. And, oh. So I'm gonna put this on one side for today because it's immensely frustrating. Um, and I'm gonna work on something new and 
more fun and just because as well because it's a present I don't want it to be I want, I want it to be really really nice and my current mood I don't think it will be so I'm going to fold that put it away in the current project bag and start working on my collots so as far as I remember the first thing with the collots is to quickly attach the pocket sides so like you have the back pocket comes out further than the front pocket, so the front pocket is kind of like that, so you've got an exposed bit. So we need to sew along that edge, first of all, um, and then we're going to sew the pleats, I think. Yeah, I'll have a look at the instructions, but I'm pretty sure we then sew the pleats. But first of all, I've got to um, change the thread in my machine, because my new fabric I'm working with is white, and this is a sort of dusky purple colour that's in here at the moment. So, let's do that. five o'clock we've had a nice lunch and I have made some pretty good progress on my collots so let me show you um I have here's the front you can't really see but I've got my nice pleats in place my pockets so that sits hang on back there and then we have a nice little um half exposed pocket there and then with these you do a weird thing where you attach the bottom by the leg you leave a bit of the crotch and then we're going to do that next but I need to put the waistband on first um the front waistband anyway on first just because it's easier um so I'm going to do that but I had to take a quick overlocking break because this fabric is stunning but it frays like as you touch it so I had to have a little overlocking break and you may have seen my overlocker going for a little walk now I think that is because this is incredibly lightweight fabric and that's a heavyweight overlocker however given the amount of vibrations as well I honestly think I just need a, um, a non-slip mat and I know that my sewing box do them and a couple of other people do them as well so I will be purchasing one of those very very soon but I do get these lovely kind of rainbow seams on the inside which are really pretty and I'm definitely getting the hang of my overlocker I've not looked at the manual or anything like that yet because um, as a matter of pride I like not to look at instructions um which Adam says is silly but I've not come across any problems yet I've re-threaded the top two needles just to figure out how they go the color guidance on this machine is great so I will do an intro video to this machine with you guys once I've got to grips with the different settings at the moment I'm just learning to sort of sew on it and see how I feel and so one of the nice things about all the threads being pre-threaded different colours is I can see which thread has an issue. So like if the tension's off on my red one, then it's threaded according to the colours on the dials as well, which is just so helpful as a, like for learning as a beginner. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Look at that view. Oh, beautiful. Like it's just so nice to look at. Also, side note on these, I've managed to, so I cut these out of the D length this time in the pattern which is like a sort of, it's meant to be like a mid, mid calf, I think, on most people, but it's the perfect length for me. You guys may remember last time I made these, I had to cut about four or five inches off the bottom. Whereas look at that, it's perfectly. So really, really excited to wear these. They're gonna look super summery. 
Um, and yeah, they'll probably get finished next week. But it is five o'clock now. And I need to fin uh, film my invisible zip tutorial. Now, because that's a garment that you guys will not be seeing yet, I need to go and do that now. So I think I'm going to finish this week in sewing's vlog here. Um, I'm really happy. So this week I finished my pink dress. I have like 99% finished the project for mine and Talon's reveal video, which will be coming soon. Um, I've had a crack at Louise's present. I've cut out my LED. I have bought fabric for my dad's present finally which I'm gonna sew next week because it's already on its way so it should be here Monday um so I think I'm gonna do a sew along for that as well I don't think I'm gonna do a sew along for my LED that being said if you'd like one let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do because we do have some time off um and yeah I'm feeling I'm feeling good it's actually it's been a hellish week at work with a lot of different stuff happening so it's been nice to retreat into into sewing this weekend and also you know a couple of evenings and mornings this week it's really really nice and i really enjoy being able to do that um i also got some beautiful fabric yesterday from rainbow fabrics kilburn um that i need to make like a tea dress well i don't need i want to make um like a buffet dress but a little bit more fitted because the sort of buffet dress on me can be a little bit questionable because i've got such a big bust to waist difference so it can make me look a bit pregnant which isn't ideal for me personally so you know i'm going to be looking into sort of patterns but if you've got any recommendations nothing too boxy i want quite a nice fit to the waist and then flare or flare or at least flow i don't want a tight skirt i'm thinking maybe a shirt dress like maybe the other one that's kind of calling to me is one of the is it the nina lee spring dress or possibly the new friday pattern company pattern which the name for which has temporarily escaped me but I will put a link below for that because I love it and um, I'm seriously mine probably if I do it I won't use the um, shoulder frills but I'm seriously tempted by that actually so I might see one of those coming up soon but yeah um, I it's now five o'clock I need to uh, I'd like to go outside actually today and get some fresh air um, I need to tidy up the sewing room because you can't see but it is a mess I need to open the window and hoover in here as well because overlocking means there's just tiny bits of fabric dust everywhere and it's making me quite breathless um, and then yeah it's our anniversary tomorrow so that'll be my pink dress getting worn again for that so all that remains for me to say is thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share if you want to and subscribe if you want to hear more from me um i really really enjoy filming these for you but if there's anything else you'd like to see in my week in sewing if there's anything you'd prefer do always let me know i'm really receptive to hearing what you guys think and what you guys would like to see now i'll leave you guys have a wonderful wonderful day rest of your week whenever you're watching this thank you for watching as always and i'll see you guys next time